Do you get frustrated with the slowness of AnyPoint Studio? We have all experienced this no matter how powerful your computer is. It could be the program giving you an all white or all black screen, or stops responding to your clicks, or even crashes altogether. Until the product improves, here are seven tips you can use to speed up your development and lower your frustration. AnyPoint Studio is based on the Eclipse IDE. And the Eclipse IDE is written using the Java programming language. That is why you need to install Java in order to run AnyPoint Studio. To run these Java applications, the Java runtime environment that you installed fires up a Java virtual machine, which AnyPoint Studio is run inside of. Well, you can specify the heap size for this Java virtual machine. To do so, go to your AnyPoint Studio installation directory and there should be an anypointstudio.ini file. Go ahead and open that and you'll see the JVM memory settings here. XMS is the setting for the initial and minimum heap size. XMX is the setting for the maximum heap size. The settings of half a gig and a gig are pretty low to begin with, so you should at least double the default settings. You may have some consequences if you put this number too high. Your computer only has so many memories to run to JVM as well as every other application, so don't get too carried away. If you're running Java 7, you may have another entry here for perm size. And for this value as well, you'd want to at least double it. Increasing these numbers will definitely remove if you have any out of memory issues being thrown while running your Mule application, but in general, it'll give more memory to your overall AnyPoint Studio installation. When loading AnyPoint Studio, you'll notice in the bottom right, a whole bunch of dependencies got downloaded. That's because on startup, AnyPoint Studio looks inside your projects that you have open and perform actions such as downloading dependencies to set up your application to be ready to be developed on. These actions happen not only just on startup, but also when you're actively using the application. That is why I recommend that you close any projects that you're currently not working on. In an attempt to find errors in your Mule code, AnyPoint Studio runs a bunch of validators as you're typing. Checks to make sure that your tags are validated against the DTD, making sure that you're using valid element attributes, and other checks that they are constantly scanning for to try to notify you if they believe you're making a mistake. I don't believe that any of these checks are actually valuable, especially because we're using so many drag and drop components. So I recommend going ahead and suspending all types of validations. You can do that from your preferences, validations, and just go suspending all validations. Some of these won't be clearly applicable as you're not writing JavaScript files. And I am hesitant to see how much of these are actually built when doing XML validations with MuleSoft code. But anyways, it's always safe to just click to suspend all validations. So click apply and close. If you're noticing that some of the response time is a little bit delayed when you're clicking around from component to component, Double check that your server's not started. I recommend that if you don't plan on testing your application anytime soon, do not do your normal coding while the server is running. Valuable memory is being tied up that could be better used for the responsiveness of AnyPoint Studio. Starting up the server took 2.16.24 minus 2, 16, 12, took 12 seconds. However, if I use the automatic deploy, AnyPoint Studio will save you the time of restarting the whole server and instead just redeploy your changes. 2, 17, 55, 
to 217.54. Only took two seconds. Both these times are really quick because my application doesn't have any, but the effect will be much greater once you start building more complex flows. If you have a tendency to save your file every time you make a little change, you are triggering an automatic redeployment. I recommend turning off build automatically, save as much as you want, and then when you are actually ready to test your changes, you can just go back to project, build project, and then trigger one redeployment. Sometimes when I'm working on one configuration file, doing a bunch of saves, edits, I'm switching from one configuration panel to the next, and then saving, I'll see in this bot bottom right hand corner, it'll pause and say that it's validating, but it'll say a different file name that I'm working on. And usually there'll be a little like details and you can see that it's validating a multiple files besides the one that you're working on. In order to speed that up, close the configuration files that you're not using, especially the most complicated ones, such as like a global XML or like the API.xml that has a lot of configurations and different types of components in it. It'll tend to be the one that validates the longest. So if I'm working on say this tab, I just go ahead, close this until I need to really use it. 